So corrupt conservative Democrat Henry Cuellar is facing a tough primary challenge against progressive Jessica Cisneros. Now, if you live in Texas, early voting just kicked off on Monday, so make sure that you support her. She came this close to beating Henry Cuellar back in 2020, but this time with him being raided by the FBI and with her seeing a surge of momentum and support, Odds are she can actually pull this off, and she's someone who actually cares about policies, whereas Henry Cuellar is a conservative Democrat who voted with Trump most of the time, and he also doesn't even support abortion rights. So I don't even know why he is in the Democratic Party. Nonetheless, this is really the opportunity to oust him from power. But what's interesting is that um, all of a sudden, as of February, there's been a suspicious amount of new supporters who are very enthusiastic about this member of Congress who's been there since 2005. And what Ryan Grimm and Sarah Sroda of The Intercept found out is that it looks like he has deployed an army of bots. So they explain, just this month, for instance, a young woman named Elia Isabella opened a Twitter account and began sharing her appreciation for Quayar. A pride, all my support, and I hope he stays in the Congress, she said Monday, apparently so eager to pose that she didn't have time to consider her unusual grammar. Her dedication to Quayar is so complete that her entire online activity consists of retweeting Quayar and replying positively to his posts. We'll look at this in a second. Isabella quickly found a community of Quayar supporters. She follows 64 people and has six followers, and nearly all of them share her breathless enthusiasm. Take Selena Stefani, who has exclusively posted messages praising the representative since opening an account in January. Thanks for always caring, reads one. Hopefully achieve great things for Texas, says another. Like the bulk of Quayar's newfound supporters, Stefani's last name is capitalized, but the last is lowercase interesting. A number of Cuellar's groupies inundated a tweet from Webb County Democratic Party announcing that early primary voting had begun Monday. El futuro de Texas está en manos de Henry, replied Gabrielle Clark with two clapping emojis. With Henry until the end, wrote Jackie Murphy with a strong arm. The support with Henry is honest. He is a hardworking and prepared man, said Lulu Carey. Henry is a great example. My vote is for he, at a John MacLeod, all happened to join Twitter last month and exclusively engage with content about Cuellar or Cisneros. Now, I just want to pause right there. The dead giveaway is the fact that none of these accounts capitalized their last names and the grammar is all terrible. It's almost like these aren't real human beings. Now, let's look at some of these accounts. They're, they're so conspicuous, so obvious that you think that he'd at least be somewhat embarrassed. But I mean, these politicians are shameless. So let's look at that first account, Elia Isabella. So as you can see, didn't capitalize their last name, just started their account in February, as the article explains. And literally every single post is, uh, you guessed it, about Henry Cuellar. And the very first post is a retweet of Henry Cuellar. So it's almost like this account was created specifically to boost Henry Cuellar or something. I mean, they must just really really have realized that this February, how enthusiastic they are about this member of Congress who's been there since 2005. Interesting. We also have Selena Stephanie with roughly the same amount of followers and who's following about the same amount of people as Elia Isabella and conspicuously only replying to Henry Cuellar's posts, with the very first reply being posted in February saying, all trust. Very natural here. And then we have Jackie Murphy, also a newer account created in January, saying uh, they're not convinced by Jessica Cisneros, and she doesn't have what it takes. But they very clearly think that Henry Cuellar has what it takes, considering that the replies to his tweets make up the totality of their Twitter activity. And I love how the first post is, I think you could be of great help to Texas, as if he's some new up and comer and hasn't been in Congress since 2000 fucking five. It's just hilarious to me. I love this. So it's very obvious that these are not real accounts and people have pointed this out prior to this article being written. Uh, it, it's just, this is, this is nonsense. This is AstroTurf online. Um, now there's one more account that I want to show you. You're going to want to stick around for this one because this one is certainly a little out there and I have no idea where this account came from. Uh, but I just want to kind of go back to what's 
his account was like prior to all of these bots increasing his engagement on Twitter. So Cuellar hasn't always been such a phenom on Twitter. Take his November 5th tweet announcing passage of the bipartisan infrastructure bill, which he had worked to break away from the larger Build Back Better Act. Absent was his swarm of supporters. Instead, his followers took the opportunity to lambast him for undermining the broader package to call him a sellout or otherwise denigrate his legislative activity. It's fortunate for Cuellar to have won over such committed backers so late in the game, especially after an FBI raid of his home and campaign office in January tied to an ongoing investigation into Azerbaijani influence peddling led to a drop in the polls. Many of the rest of the replies to his posts, coming from accounts that have been active much longer and have more diverse interests than just Cuellar, are criticisms of his anti-abortion stance, references to the federal investigation, or calls of support for Cisneros. But oddly enough, none of the new accounts seem to actually follow their hero. So that is very, very interesting. Very interesting. Now, there's one more account that I want to uh, kind of highlight here. This wasn't addressed in the article, but this was an account that I happened to stumble across as I was doing research for this video. Um, so this account here, uh, the user Futbucker69 has a Henry Cuellar avatar with heart emojis and their bio reads, I happen to be a newly enthusiastic fan of Representative Henry Cuellar as of February. Now, as you can see, like the other posts, all of their activity are replies to uh, Henry Cuellar. They say, thank you for all you do, boy. Really hope you don't go to prison. So very enthusiastically supporting him. And then the first uh, response here, which is the first uh, post made on this account, reads, thank much. Who needs the hen Russi aid? Def me. So this Futbucker69 account is very interesting to me, and I don't know why Henry Cuellar would deploy bots like this. Really, Henry? Futbucker69? You're a member of Congress, and you have these fake accounts asking uh, you to eat their hen Russi or asking who needs the hen Russi ate to be to be clear. So I have no idea where this account came from. And, it, you know, he should really come out and denounce this and say he doesn't stand for this, this hen Russi. Like, that's so inappropriate. So he needs to denounce this. I mean, bot accounts, once you start deploying them, it's it's kind of a, you know, you open the floodgates and any accounts can purport support for someone like Henry Cuellar. So he really shouldn't do things like this. And other politicians shouldn't do things like this as well, because you might see a Futbucker 69 pop up and all of a sudden support you. And it doesn't seem like that's somebody who you would want to have the support of as a politician. So, um, yeah, it, it's very clearly a bot account, but this is his bot account. I'm assuming I don't know where this account came from. I have nothing to do with it, but this is clearly something that he created. So, I mean, he should disavow all of these bot accounts and stop trying to do online AstroTurf because it's just embarrassing. But uh, that's all I have to say about this. He was caught and it seems like he wanted to get caught because, you know, with this many bot accounts, all specifically dedicated to replying to you, it's just a matter of time before, you know, uh, Internet sleuths are going to uncover that this is a huge AstroTurf campaign to create enthusiasm where it doesn't exist. And it's just it's pathetic. And I hope it doesn't work for him. I don't think this is going to work for him because bots aren't going to translate into votes. But I hope that in the end he loses and Jessica Cisneros prevails victorious. But we'll wait and see if you live in Texas, if you live in this district support Jessica Cisneros, vote for Jessica Cisneros, because guess what? She actually doesn't need bots because the enthusiasm for her campaign is actually real, something that a corporate corrupt Democrat like Henry Cuellar would never be able to get organically. So yeah, support Jessica Cisneros. I will be rooting for her.